Hello my dear friends, welcome to our video on the different stages of tablet manufacturing process. In this video, we will take you through the various steps involved in manufacturing tablets, from formulation to packaging. Tablet manufacturing involves several stages in order to produce high quality tablets. Here are the different stages of the tablet manufacturing process. 1. Formulation and pre-formulation. In this stage, the active pharmaceutical ingredient, a P, is combined with various excipients to form a tablet formulation. Excipients are inactive substances that help in the manufacturing process and enhance the stability, appearance, and functionality of the tablet. 2. Blending. Once the formulation is prepared, the AP and excipients are blended together to ensure a uniform distribution of the ingredients. This is typically done using specialized equipment like blenders, which can vary depending on the batch size and the nature of the formulation. 3. Granulation. Granulation involves the formation of granules from the blended mixture. Granules provide better flow properties, improve compressibility, and enhance the uniformity of the final tablet. Granulation can be achieved through various methods such as dry granulation or wet granulation, depending on the characteristics of the formulation. 4. Drying. If wet granulation is employed, the granules need to be dried to remove any residual moisture. Drying can be carried out using methods like tray drying, fluid bed drying, or vacuum drying. It is crucial to ensure that the granules are properly dried to maintain their stability and prevent issues during the compression stage. 5. Lubrication. Lubrication is a process that involves the addition of a lubricant to the granules to prevent sticking to the tablet compression equipment. This helps in achieving smoother tablet formation and eases the ejection of the tablets from the tooling during production. 6. Compression. The granules or powder mixture is compressed into tablets using tablet compression machines. The machine exerts high pressure on the granules to form tablets of a specific shape, size, and hardness. The compression force applied must be carefully controlled to ensure consistent tablet quality throughout the manufacturing process. 7. Coating. Optional, in some cases, tablets undergo a coating process to improve their appearance, taste, and stability. Tablet coating can provide controlled release characteristics, protect the active ingredient from degradation, or enhance the tablet's appearance. Coating is typically achieved using specialized equipment like coating pans or fluid bed coaters. 8. Packaging. Once the tablets are manufactured, they are packaged into suitable containers such as blister packs, bottles, or strip packs. Packaging helps protect the tablets from moisture, light, and physical damage, while also providing important information such as dosage instructions, expiration dates, and batch numbers. It's important to note that tablet manufacturing processes can vary depending on the specific formulation, manufacturing facility, and regulatory requirements. Good manufacturing practices GMP, and quality control measures are followed throughout the entire tablet manufacturing process to ensure product safety, efficacy, and consistency.